Hello everybody and welcome to This Land Is My Land, a game, a series that I am so excited to freaking check out. This is a game that's been on my radar for quite a little while and it has us in the shoes of a Native American tribe with the impending threat of settlers coming in and taking over our lands with I believe the British, the French, and some other factions like that being things we need to fend off. And as a part of that, we actually go around and build up our tribe into an alliance as we go around, recruit other tribes recruit other warriors other workers and pretty much manage not just this tribe that not only can we use to go and attack some of the bases that these settlers are setting up as they try and impeach upon our territory and not only can we utilize our tribe to gather resources to go out and actually have our tribes set up these attacks on the enemy as we try and fend off and even expand our own empire in a form of defense but we can actually individually go out and adventure with a lot of survival crafting elements it's a massive open world and it's something that i'm so freaking excited to get into so without further ado let's get this resistance started i got in here while i was looking for an opportunity to join a great warrior named your name is your lineage and will bring you great power or great demise well 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 my name is star snipe and actually based on the name that you put you actually do end up getting a certain type of benefit to that right so let's say for example that we go and rock potato right we toss in potato oh my god i do not want to be a potato no sorry but yeah depending on the name that you do choose right it actually lets you uh get like some bonuses and oh zemniak over here the polish word for potato is a little bit better than just potato I'm interested. Personally, guys, I think we might be the Polish Potato Tribe. Let's go and let's do it. And we actually, ooh, here we get to choose the type of start that we get. I think that we probably want to start with a normal start over here. So hopefully things go well. But you guys and gals can see that our adventure actually begins with us on what appears to be a captured train. And I hear some horses galloping outside. I, are we about to get, like, broken out of here or something? Is that what's going on? I don't know, it's fading to black. The resistance of Zemniak began. Oh, baby. I'm here to shoot up. I think we're getting broken out. Shouts out the Hobies that are bringing us back. Dude, but I'm so freaking excited for this because we literally get to build up our own tribe, recruit other tribes, build up an alliance, kind of build like an empire, but the purpose of our empire isn't to expand, although we do end up expanding. But at the end of the day, we're just trying to defend our land. This land is my land. And there's a lot of intricacies behind it as well with so many different systems. Being the huge open world. Being honestly having a lot of those survival game elements in it as well. It's honestly just a really perfect storm of a game. So without further ado, recently rescued warriors told me that the person responsible for the massacres which led to the almost complete annihilation of my people is staying in one of the camps nearby. I will find him and make him pay for all the pain and suffering he has caused. This land will be mine. And here we have our little tribe. We got a couple of workers over here. We got, oh, some loot over there that we can put off. But here we have our little tribe. We got a couple of homies and uh, yeah. Would you look at that? We even got a couple of horses. I'm gonna need to go and grab one of those. I do want to gallop on out. So horse is gonna be a great way of uh, covering some good distance and about 2,000 meters that way, if you guys go and follow me on my map over here, we do actually have, I believe, that settlement, Lakwaxra, where we actually have a quest right now to head over there and convince their leader to join our fight. Now, I'm very tempted by that, but for now, why don't we, we can actually like rest and save over here at the campfire. And there are all sorts of systems that we can utilize, like over here, where there's all sorts of crafting, there's objectives and stuff that we could do. Uh, right now, we actually got to craft a wooden bow and wooden arrows, but before... Oh, and there's also, uh, whatchamacallit, some skills over here as we level up. We can actually gain skills. We can find guns. We get bows and arrows, melee weapons, the whole shebang. And here we're getting a bit of a basic tutorial, but I'm not too interested in that at the moment. I'm interested in hopping on one of these horses and making my way over to uh, hopefully recruit that trap fella. So, hey, boys, I'm heading out. All right. I'm just heading to the gas station. I'll I'll be back. I promise. Or the, the horse station. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to head out over here. 
We got our little horsey, and we got some potentially sus terrain. Not only do we need to worry about enemy camps and whatnot, there is also, I believe, wildlife like wolves and even bears that might end up attacking us. Here we have our skills that we can utilize. Thank you for the heads up, but we will begin our journey over here because I think this quest is actually time sensitive because that tribe might be attacked because throughout this entire map over here that we're seeing, right? Not only do we have our little tribe, there are all sorts of other tribes, but there's the enemy over there and they're not just gonna chill they are going to be expanding there's actually already gonna be some enemy camps kind of uh, scattered throughout little like outposts and stuff that we can actually take down if we choose we can use q to change the side of the camera i don't care about that right now but i'm gonna journey over this way and hopefully we can recruit a tribe and uh expand our empire nice and early oh and check it out top right hand corner a warrior from the outer lands actually just joined us dude let's go that's another thing that actually happens in this game oh i i think i hear Ooh! some kind of wildlife I, th I think that was just a deer or something but yeah warriors can actually join our faction as well and i'll actually show off this micromanaging thing and we can actually go and harvest some resources we can harvest wood we can harvest branches we're actually gonna need to do that to craft this bow here in just a second but on top of that we can actually have our colony kind of do some of that heavy lifting right so if you follow me we just tap on that we got four out of eight warriors right now zero of them are working well why don't we set them out to uh actually gather why don't we send two of them it's a gather we can even have them take the horses if they want but uh and then we can also choose what we want them to gather in terms of that specific source or resources so i know wood's gonna be pretty important let's send one of them out to get to gathering that let's go and set out another gather order here i know that stones are also oh sorry hit my mic over there i know stones are gonna be another important resource and we can also like do these like issue attack commands to have them attack we can even settle new camps tame horses go on patrol to try and protect our tribe because we can also be attacked like this is such a dynamic game that can unfold in so many ways uh, for now, I might send him out to get some sinew, which is kind of like, uh, fiber, so to speak. Oh, I need a bow? Oh, no. All right, never mind. I can't get sinew, I suppose. May have been mistaken. I think flax might be what I was thinking of. We'll send one warrior out to get some flax. And then we'll send out that last warrior. Hopefully sending everyone out doesn't bite me in the butt! Oh, I heard noise! I run. That was the least panicked run ever. Horse, you gotta hurry up with the panic. Dude, I, I, that sounded like... Oh, Christina Forest Buvac area. Oh, interrogation. Killing is not the only way to deal with the enemy in close range combat. When you're close enough to an enemy, you can actually interrogate them, obtain useful information. And actually right there, you guys can see that camp. We could take it down, but I don't know. Do you guys want to take it down? Honestly, quite your odds. Let's go in. Uh, have a little bit of fun here. Hey, eh? all right. Why don't we go and have a uh, little bit of fun here? Let's get to crouching and... Well, I unfortunately do not have any weapons. So we really gotta be sneaky deaky. How many people are in this camp? Because... This might be a... Melee type of day. I don't know. I didn't see too many people really. I think they're sleeping. Oh... Bloody beautiful lads. This is the perfect time for us to strike. Because I believe while they're sleeping, they're very susceptible to a little thing known as death. Hey, <laughs> Oh no, hey, just uh, hey, nothing to see here, buddy. Nothing to see here. Hey, I'm gonna oh, kill you. Oh no. Okay, here's the thing. We could have also interrogated them, but I just want to start off the day rather right. I just, you know, kill a couple people. But here's the thing. Killing actually gives us bad karma. You guys can see in the bottom. Buffalo Bill Cody killed. Plus 40 SP. And we got a little bit of karma for that, right? <gasps> Ooh. And we got ourselves some weapons and a letter. All sorts of stuff. This letter was written by someone from Pugaborn. They fear for their brother who was sent with a group to gather gold. I don't wish to harm anyone's family, but I cannot let them have gold. I like gold. Maybe we'll take that. But yeah, now we actually do, you guys can see, have a gun. And not only can we use these guns for ourselves, we can actually bring them back to our camp and uh, equip. Nice. We got a little more there. 
We can actually equip our own tribe with some of these things, and I believe there's some loot here we could have. Ooh, baby. All sorts of stuff, but all this loot does again have weight, so we gotta be mindful of that. And I think that was all. This was definitely... Oh, there we go. We got a little... Oh, not a little. We got a lot. From this blueprint, I've learned how to craft a Smith & Russell Pistol Pat 3. I'll take it, man. Items control. And I can hold two for usable items. We actually have honey and smoked meat. A couple of healing items we could utilize. I lost my horse. Horsey. Horsey. Oh, there you go. He's on the little radar over at the top. Bless up. Oh, my God. That's a stealthy horse. Let's continue our journey there. But that is how we can actually stealthfully kill a camp. But as I was saying, killing a camp is going to give us red karma, bad karma. And bad karma will actually put the enemy faction, you know, the ones that's trying to take over our land, it's going to put them on high alert. When they are on high alert, oh, I can actually save the game. Yeah, we can actually save the game on campfires, stuff like that. A little pop up there. But yeah, when they are on high alert, it's actually harder to sneak around because they're kind of aware that there are some deadly peeps lurking around known as me and my tribesmen. But yeah, so it does make it a little bit more difficult to be sneaky and it pretty much is kind of like a notoriety meter. And the more bad karma you have, the more notorious you are. Is that a bear? Oh no, that's a rock. Okay, I was getting spooked for a sec. So killing is a way to get bad karma, because obviously the settlers are probably not going to be too happy with, uh, well, them getting killed. I don't blame them, but I'm not too happy about what they're doing either. So a little bit of beef here, but you can actually interrogate and scare them off instead. And if you interrogate them, something that honestly we should have done, you can actually gain valuable information, potentially about the map, nearby locations, maybe even where some good loot might be found. Oh, and crikey, we actually... Oh, we got a couple of camps over here, you guys can see, over at that top corner. So, we might even try that over here. Oh, what is that? There's something red. <gasps> That's a bear! That's a bear! That's a bear! No, 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 no! Gotta go, 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 Okay, 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 that red arrow behind us, definitely not a good sign, definitely not a good sign. Bear, please, can you go and attack something else? Leave me and my horsey alone. Okay. I don't see the right arrow anymore. I was going to try and go interrogate people, but no. The bear had to appear. Maybe we'll make our... Ah, it is right there. We could do it. Hey, YOLO, let's send it. Here we got the Buvac area. So yeah, if we interrogate them, we will get good karma. And if we have good karma, I think we're more likely to actually have some warriors come and join us as well. Instead of killing people. I don't know what that noise is. It sounds like wild animals. I'm gonna back up. Okay. You know, I'll come back here. I really don't like that noise. I really, really don't like that noise. Dude, it sounds like that camp's getting eaten alive by wolves. Which honestly can't happen. I'm pretty sure the wildlife can't interact with some of the other stuff going on. But it's okay. This ain't gonna be too far from where we're about to establish a, uh, a little bit of a base. Because it, check it, check it. Ladies and gentlemen, this ain't exactly the biggest tribe, but I'm more than happy to talk. Hello, compadre. Wow, this is literally like a tribe of two people. I was expecting maybe something a little bit bigger. Zemnyak? Yes, it is I, Zemnyak, Yak Shemash. That is me. We your camp join our fight. We will join as soon as you'll have two camps. What? What? Okay, we've been played. We gotta go and get another camp, apparently. <laughs> Bruh. Are you serious? Why are you equipping your bow? What's going on? Are there bad things coming? Is it gonna attack my horsey? I hope not. Can I steal your loot? Is it okay? Ah, oh, I can't steal items from him. Bummer. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer though. We actually gotta go and settle another camp before we can do anything else. Hmm. Hmm. So we do have a warrior who's kind of done here. Uh, we can actually go and settle another camp. We can actually, we got, we got a couple locations here nearby. Why don't we go and set one up here on the border? Actually, I think that'll be a nice little location. We'll settle there. And, uh, we actually need 20 wood and 10 rope to make that happen. So actually, once we're done harvesting some other stuff, we should be able to set up that camp. So, now just a bit of a waiting game. But I do want to stick around here, because we should be able to set up this camp soon. And we'll be able to recruit these guys, and they'll be able to help us out. On top of that. So why don't we take this opportunity to finally craft up that bow that I've been 
meaning to get. Actually, first things first. Can I use a campfire, bro? Is that cool? Can I? I can't use a campfire. Are you serious? Come on. You can't even let me borrow a campfire. Talk about a douche canoe. I was gonna say, I just wanna fast forward it to daytime. But here's what I was talking about with this also being a survival crafting game on top of it. Also, just in case, I'm gonna uh, equip one of them pistols here and reload it. Just in case some wildlife decides to attack us. Make sure that we got these, nope, not that. Make sure that we got these two loaded. Let's click on that over there. But you guys just saw we collected a little bit of flax there so we can't actually go around and Collect natural resources like that whenever we do come across it. Flax being one such resource. We actually got some buck brush over here. Some of these wild herbs we can actually utilize for like healing type items. But flax is definitely going to be useful. Definitely want to pick up a little bit of that. There we got a little bit of fireweed. And here we got some hickory as well. So we can actually get a little bit of wood from that hickory. And yeah, all sorts of just nice stuff like that. I think we can chop down the trees themselves, too. What is that noise? Is that a horse drinking from a pond? Oh my god. Dude, that noise is terrifying. <laughs> I just, I just... What's going on? Why are they shooting arrows? Hey, what's happening, dude? You need help? What are you attacking? I don't know. Detection. Dude, is there is there a tribe about to be attacked? Oh, it is. There's a person right there. Oh, crikey. Let's get all sneaky dicky like Let's try and interrogate him from behind. Dude, they're sending out a patrol. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where are you shooting, my dude? This guy's right here. Oh, do not take down my friend. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, just keep looking. Not this way. Yeah. Be, let's be peaceful here. Let's not do anything we might regret. No, 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 no. Just nothing that you're gonna regret here. Oh, he's got a gun. He's got a gun. Oh, die, 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 die. E, oh, oh, take the shank in the back. Shank, shank, shank. Die, die. You shot me, dude. I don't take kindly to that. Die. Oh, how much? Ow. Do I need to do this? Oh, I can be useful. how's that? You can I be know, useful, you say. Catalyst needs to be taught that he is not welcome in this land. Fine and deal with him. Sure thing, man. You? I'm stunning ya! You can intimidate stunned enemies by holding F. Intimidate enemies will never come back to any camp around, while karma will not be lost and hostility level will not grow. So that's what I was talking about, so I'm gonna go and intimidate you, bro. Never come back. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing, but this man's gonna wake up. Dude, honestly, he already has an arrow. And half of his body's bloody. I'd already be plenty intimidated if I was him, but... Yeah, he's gonna wake up, uh... Spooked. Adam James McGee- OH MY GOD! WHAT HAPPENED TO INTIMIDATING THEM?! DUDE! WE'RE TRYING TO BE PEACEFUL! Well, I guess I'll take his loot. And yeah, what you got on you there? Oh, let's go! Dude, we're finding some good weapons here. We just got ourselves, uh, something a bit more along the lines of a rifle. Oh, yeah, this is two bullets, too. Oh, 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 is there another guy? What's going on? This guy's shooting again. I don't know what he's shooting at! Are you shooting at the sky? Did that tree do bad things to you? What happened? I don't know. I, I don't know. Last time he started shooting, there was a freaking cowboy running up on us. And I really don't want these guys to die because I want them to join my tribe. At least wait till you're in my tribe to die. Is that so much to ask? Like, oh, some kind of wild animal up there. You guys see that? A red fox. Are you guys really trying to freaking cross map snipe a fox? What are you attacking now? You guys confuse me. Do I even want this tribe with us, guys? <laughs> I don't know. All right, luckily, everyone's back. We got nine wood. Bruh, we are so close. Okay, what do we need again to settle? What's that gonna take? Yeah, I wanna settle there. 20 wood, 10 rope. But we don't even have rope yet. We need a little bit, actually a lot bit more wood. Woo! 
Oh, guns! That's 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 guns! Hello? What's popping? What is going on over there? Dude, I have no- what is happening? There's like a shootout. Are they getting into it with some wildlife? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I mean, I got a gun, I'm ready to tussle. Actually, hold up, before we tussle, let's uh, eat a little bit of honey there. Get some of that health back. What is happening? I don't hear gunfire anymore, so that means one of two things. Woo! Either the people with guns died, or they killed whatever was killing them. I hear more bullets, dude. What is happening? This is a large-scale shootout. It's coming from that camp. I, see the, I saw a little gun smoke from that way. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep chilling for a sec. I just want these guys... Yo, let's get to gathering, okay? Let's get two groups. Get some wood. Okay, there you go. Send them out. I'm just trying to be efficient here, right? Dude, already we got some tussling. And I do want to take this camp out at the end of the day. I want to convince these guys to come with us. Okay, back at the camp. Can we craft stuff? You guys, can you craft? Do I need to go back? Add order. I think I can add- oh! Oh my. I see that guy right over there. You see him? Dude, these bullets are getting louder. He's up on that hill. Are they just hunting? Dude, I have no idea what they're doing. Try to get a bit of a better view, I guess? I think I saw a guy up on that little rock up there, too. Alright, uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, let's add to the order here. Item, yeah, so this is where we can actually tell them to craft stuff, so... I need you guys to get 10 rope on the dot. Can you do that for me? Thank you. I think this camp... I don't know. What are they shooting at? I think they're shooting at that fox. Did I see two people over there. I hear another guy shooting there. We might be outnumbered. We got the element of surprise, lads. Dude, I'm just spooked by what they're doing here. No, I don't know if this is the- I don't know if this is the play, guys. Can we back up explore a bit more? Let's go back here, because we got the view back here. We got the fort over that way, right? Might as well collect some flax while we're here, too. Why not? <laughs> I mean, that gunfire means that they're away from the camp on top of it, which is kind of good news, right? YOLO bro, I got guns, I'm ready to use them. Alright, so we got two dudes. One there, one there, then a third guy somewhere shooting a gun. Might be able to get a sneak attack on one of these. That guy's just going back to, like, harvest, and he's doing some, uh, logging. Maybe we could get the jump on him. I mean, now would be prime time, if you ask me. You just gonna be working? He does have his friend over there. Nah, don't notice me, buddy. Don't notice me. I'm behind a bush! How can you see me? Oh, no. Oh, there's that other guy. Okay. He's actually kind of close right there. If he turns his back to us, might be a prime time to try and get the jump on him. 
He's on patrol. He's on patrol. All right, I say we try and get the jump on him. YOLO. Now is the time. Now is the time. Please don't turn around, buddy. Please don't turn around. Oh, grab him. <laughs> you saw nothing. Uh. Oh, no, he's got friends. He's got friends. It's okay. We stunned that guy. Oh, oh. Die. Hold on. We got to steady our aim here. Boop. I don't know if that hit. Oh, no. Oh. Hold on. Let's switch to another gun. We do have a couple guns here, so we're ready to go. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, we took a lot of damage for that. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. Hold on, let's use our other gun here. And we gotta take him out here, quick. Oh, fire! Oh! Close hit. Okay, we gotta run up to him. We gotta take him down. We gotta take him down. Oh, oh, grab him. Oh, no, he's dead. Okay, well, no grabbing necessary. Woo! Camp down. Still wanna figure out what all that firing's about. But we live! Oh, man. That's why it's sketchy, dudes. You can definitely take quite a bit of damage. All right, this guy now, can we get back to that interrogation? You said that, uh... Oh, first things first, yeah, give me your stuff. And then I'll intimidate you. How's that sound? Wakey, wakey, exit, bakey, baby! <laughs> At least we're doing a good job clearing out some of these locations nearby. And hopefully we'll have the resources for that stuff I was talking about. Why does this guy have a red star above him? Legend? His name's Legend Dairy. <laughs> Are you Barney Stinson? <laughs> What's up, dude? See ya. Sayonara. Just don't run towards the uh, camp over that way. You might accidentally die. That's what happened to another buddy of mine. Wasn't really a buddy, but he died. All right, let's loot this place up before any more attention gets brought here. Benning Woods Buvac vanished. Yep, we cleared this place out, baby. Ain't but a thing. Let's loot up all the possible things that we can. Oh, dude, we're getting so many guns. We're overweight, though. Oh, that's not good. And there's still more loot to be had. Not too much. Okay, we gotta do something about this weight. Let's try and figure that out real quick. What's really heavy here? These rifles definitely ain't cheap. So we're four and a half pounds overweight. Oh, I don't want to get rid of the revolver. That's gonna be really nice. Navy pistol, 82 damage, 47, 47. Uh, honestly, no, hold up. Did I drop? Oh, I dropped that thing. Is that thing gone forever? Okay, whatever. We'll drop one of those, and then we'll drop some raw resources. We really don't need too many of those. And there you go. We should be back underweight. Okay, so that's good. We're still trying to recover from the whole getting shot thing. Figure that out. But now, I want to do some investigative work. So there's a fort right over here. Dude, there's like... What's going on? What are they shooting at? Dude, I don't know. But I want to take this over. I think they're just shooting at wildlife. Well, alrighty, y'all. I think that's why we gotta get this tribe over here. If we could establish a force and maybe attack this... Dude, imagine. That would be quite the base of operations to add to our empire. Ho ho ho. Oh, no, no, no! Don't notice me! That little white circle means that they're noticing me. I don't want that. I want to stay low-key, baby. Alrighty, though. How are we looking back in normal camp? Yeah, that's where the bear is. Definitely found out about him the hard way. How are we looking back at normal camp, eh? We got two out of ten rope. We need more flax, don't we? Yowzes. Yeah, we do. Alright. Get to gathering some more flax, y'all. I really want to get this next freaking camp established already. And alrighty, we're back here. They're shooting at something. Is that like another cowboy? I really don't want you guys dying. I want you guys joining my empire here. Okay. I think they're just shooting at wildlife. Are you shooting at each other? Are you shooting my horse? What are you shooting? That better not- Okay, no, you're shooting your own horse. Okay, I was about to say. Listen, if you're big dumb enough to shoot your own horse, that's up to you. Okay. Also, don't shoot me either. Dude, I just walked in front of that arrow. That could have been bad. <laughs> hmm. What to do? What to do from here? Maybe we just explore while we wait for our kind of home camp to try and establish themselves. Or maybe we finally craft up that freaking bow and arrow we should have been crafting all along. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's find a little bit of flax. I mean, we're really overweight, though. Another big reason I don't want to do too much right now. And alright, even though it might over-encumber us here, 
Yo, low. Yeah, there we go. We're just over encumbered, but hopefully this buffs out. We're gonna grab this last flax, and then we should be able to actually get a wooden bow crafted up. Hopefully that's not heavy. I mean, there's no way it can be heavier than all the resources we used, right? That wouldn't even make sense. And uh, let's definitely use some of that wood. Let's craft up some arrows, which ideally... Okay, we're getting less overweight. But I mean, having a bow probably does not help. At least we got the bow crafted up. And there we have it. Oh, hold on. I actually got to click on it. Always forget about that. And there we have the bow, baby. A little bit more of a stealthy way to engage in combat, eh? Eh? Definitely moving up in the world. Did that mean that we finished that objective we had? Increasing power. Finding the root of all evil. Pugborn expansion prevention. We gotta kill everyone at Pugborn. Huh. You can do that. A special person. Find and kill Calidius. And send your warriors to gather flax. They're working on it, bro. They're working on it, okay? How's the camp looking? We only got two warriors working? Nine wood. How do we not have more people working? Hold up. Get to work, people. Go and get a little bit of flax, will you? Need more of that. Send. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. I'm big dumb. So there's an expedition group of two warriors. I was about to say, we only have three warriors. Someone died. No. This, that's a group of two right there. Then we got those two individual warriors doing their thing. Also, now we got to find an old camp and take some leftover items. Uh... Oh, and we can also light up outposts, too. That's another thing we should be doing. Oh, there's wolves nearby. Hold on. I'm chilling with these guys. I'm waddling my way over. Wait up. And alrighty. My waddle is complete. And I'm over by these dudes, which makes me feel a little bit safe because there's a bear. Not a bear. There's a wolf icon right there. Just a little bit cautious of that. What was that noise? Ah. Yes. Good work. Keep this fire going. But yeah, I'm going to be cautious for those wolves. And just chill around here. While we wait for these dudes to hopefully get some work done. Also, this special person isn't too far away. Where is he? Hold up. Doesn't say exactly. Can we track him? Okay, I'm tracking him. Is he in the fort? Oh, he's in the fort. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, mama. All right, what about this old camp? Is there like an old camp nearby? Yeah, there's actually one right over there. So we could go and loot that up after this. So we definitely got a couple of quests here. How about skills? We have 860 skill points. Like, we can unlock stuff here. Increased damage of all weapons. Maximum weight. Oh, give me the maximum weight, baby. Let's freaking go. That's what I need. Oh. Kind of want to get that spyglass. That'll be cool for scouting. I can imitate a bear to scare people away. How expensive is that? Oh my god. That's over a million points. Actually, these two are over a million points. Wowzers. Then there's like some things we could do to improve gathering. A couple of things like that. Some hunter stuff. That knife damage one might be nice till we get our hands on a real melee weapon. So all in all, we still got 100, uh, 100 skill points, so we kind of got to chill on that for a bit. But we can move around now, which is nice. Maybe we go and explore that camp? And if we keep our horse nearby, we can just hop on our horse as soon as they're going and gets tough. But the wolves. I'm spooked. Somewhere over here. I don't know. Honestly, why don't we just run right through the wolves? Let's just try and be efficient here. There's an old camp not too far away. And it's a quest that we gotta knock out anyway. Let's get to this old shelter and let's see what it's all about. Okay, okay. Wolves, you do your thing. Just keep on wolfing it up. Just away from me. Yeah, there's somewhere over there, dude. They're lurking near that camp. Like, talk about sketchy. Oh, we got a couple more woods camps up ahead, too. Those red icons usually mean that they're inhabited by enemies. But, uh, here we got this. A little shelter. Objectives. I can track only one objective. There can be many. Yep, we already kind of figured that out. Let's hippity hoppity scoppity off of that. And loot this up. Oh! Oh! High quality bow! And a lot of stuff. 
Okay, thank you for leading me to this old camp. I'm a big fan. Why is my horse half dead? Not a fan of that. I can't ride while I'm overloaded? Oy vey. Because we're really overloaded. Ah. Well, y'all. I might just start waddling back to camp. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna get back to waddling over to, uh... Do these guys- are, hold up. Where's my quest for these dudes? Why are they not- Oh, there we go. Increasing power. Okay, I was about to say. Dude, that, that quest disappeared. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna waddle my way over there. And uh, we'll get there eventually, Pinky promise. What is that noise? That noise just sounds so moist for some reason. It's making me uncomfortable, dude. What up, Fox? I'm not worried about you. There's the camp in the distance. Only 160 meters to go. Alrighty, and as we continue waddling, people have finally returned back to camp. It appears that we have more rope. The wood people have yet to come back. That's okay. They're still coming. Hopefully they'll start crafting up that rope I was talking about. And we'll get a step closer to getting that second tribe. So we can get that third tribe. Oh, and check it out. We actually found some healing. We actually found a lot. Oh my god, we found explosives. Oh, baby. Yeah, we're going to be able to have some fun. But uh, for now, we're just going to use some of those healing potions. To start healing up. You guys saw our health at the bottom, that red bar. <laughs> a little close to empty. A little too close for comfort here. So as we continue waddling, I'll use some of those healing potions. Try to get back up. I'm not going to heal all the way, because I feel like maybe we could naturally heal somehow. I hear those wolves over there. Oh my. I saw a lot of things run. Guys, please don't- Wolves, please stay away. Just let me have this tribe. <laughs> I'm working on it, okay? I will return for the horse, too. No need to worry. Oh, I hear- I hear arrows. What's going on? I don't know. Woo! And we're officially back at camp. <laughs> Alright. I still gotta convince this guy to join us. These guys back here. Eh, we still need more flax by the looks of it. Oof. Let's send everyone we know. We gotta get that rope, man. Gotta get that bloody rope. Alright, so actually pretty good news. We still got 12 flax here. So we might be able to get just enough rope that we need as soon as they actually craft it. We got more than enough wood for this expansion. So we're getting there. Oh, hold on. I see him drawing your arrows. What are you guys shooting at? Keeping the wolves at bay? Smart. I like that about you. You're a couple smart fellers. Even though that one's taking a little bit of health damage. Hey, don't shoot him! Oh my god, dude. He's literally... <laughs> he's just... Oh my god. There's definitely about to be some friendly fire going on. <laughs> guys, I've I just been sitting here and like... These guys have a lot of arrows, I gotta say. Our arrow production in the tribe. Oh! What just happened? Did you just shoot your friend? Maybe having too many arrows isn't a good thing. Oh my god. Guys, hey, don't shoot me either. They gotta work on their friendly fire. Do you have enough rope yet? 10 out of 10 rope. Let's freaking go. We're ready to expand, baby. Let's go and let's settle up in the north. We got 20 wood, we got 10 rope. Equip the group. What's that mean? Oh, with that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, equip them with all of that. And let's send them, baby. We'll send two warriors to this new camp, and... Without further ado, while you are close enough to a friendly camper outpost, with a lit campfire, you can fast travel to other camps and outposts, take and put items from to your camps within your regions, blah, blah, blah. Without further ado, I believe we just have established our second camp. Which now finally might mean... THAT THEY ARE JOINING THE FIGHT! THE LAKWAKSRA TRIBE! I welcome you to the Zemniaki. The potato tribe. The Polish potatoes. We will thrive. And we will prosper, baby. Woo! Now we got eyes on this entire inventory. We actually got another camp over there that can join us. Might need to go and chat up with them. Got a trading post over by the fort. 
Dude, we got we might be able to sell some stuff at the trading post, but now this is huge. Hopefully I don't get shot. Because we can actually put stuff away. Bless up, man. Okay, and in terms of some of our guns, wow, that's a shotgun, I believe. And that is a not shotgun. Or I don't know. That one has 13 meter range. This one has 53. I'm putting that one away for the time being. Oh, can I put another one away? Oh my god. Oh no, that was that was the one I wanted. That's the one with the good range. I'm keeping that as my rifle, right? I want to keep that. Uh, yeah, though, you guys can definitely have yourselves some of these. I'm keeping the revolver over here. I like that. They have 54 cal. Like, they use all sorts of different ammos, man. Like, that's just awesome. 38 cal, we want to keep that. That uses 60 cal, which we do have some of over there. I mean, I'll keep the ammo with us. It's not too heavy. Except that. We had no compatible weapons, it said. And yeah, here we got the shells for the Russell, which is literally a shotgun. So, we'll go ahead and... Honestly, actually, hold up. Hmm. Nah, we'll put him away. I like having the normal rifle, although we're gonna break out that shotgun rain at a certain point. We got sound baits, big spiked traps. Ooh. Dude, it's just good to be able to put stuff away, because, like, we can actually clear up some room. Uh, these we'll put away for the time being. Just want to continue clearing out some inventory room. And there we have it. Oh, and we'll put the poopy wooden bow away. And there we go. That loot's all nice and looted up. And why don't we go and actually... We'll put away some of our resources, too, here. We don't really need those right off the bat. I don't think. Because we still have, like, 50 pounds of stuff here. And honestly, I don't know where a lot of that poundage is coming from. Still got the decoctions. That's healing, though. I want to keep that. Gunpowder charge. I'll put that away for now. Sound bait. I'll put, I'll put one of those away. Maybe try using that other one. I don't know. Maybe we got to put away that flintlock rifle. I don't want to. Still got about... 20 pounds or so to go. I'll definitely try and level up our skills so we can hopefully hold even more. What is that? Isn't that like a warrior thing? Yeah. But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. This camp has officially joined us. That means we can use this fire. Which means we can save the game. Literally, after we got over encumbered around this area, like I, I was just at the point where it's like, we need to get this tribe. <laughs> and now that we have it, Dude, our empire's looking nice. Oh! Hello! Hello! Oh my god! He found the gun! <laughs> he found the gun, didn't he? Okay, I'm glad you're having fun with it. Please don't use all of the ammo. Do you understand? I hope that he understands. I mean, actually, I don't even think he uses ammo. Because we still have the 516 shells over there, and that is the shotgun that he's using, so... This tribe is very nicely equipped. Not too worried about anything bad going on over there. Uh, how do I fast travel, though? Isn't that another thing that we could do? Oh, yeah, there we go. We can actually travel to the camp from there. So, honestly, we could bring a couple of weapons with us, right? Besides the wooden bows. We could actually bring the gun, for example. Bring some ammo with it. I don't even know if they need ammo, but still. We could bring some of these things and actually equip the rest of our area. Because we do only have two warriors per tribe slash camp. So not exactly, like, the biggest. But it's it's a good ground zero to be working from, guys and gals. Like, this is the start of something good. But no more lollygagging around. We gotta be careful, because the enemy will continue expanding. And there's a lot of land for us to go to. For now, I think maybe our game plan is let's try and conquer around this area. Maybe we try and recruit that camp over there. They might have some kind of quest for us. And then maybe just try and set up some camps. So, I mean, we got to recruit more warriors, man. I don't know. We got a lot of stuff. And we definitely got to prepare to take down that fort. So, things are coming up Millhouse. And they're definitely looking exciting. But with that said and with that done, that's going to go to start bringing an end to this episode of This Land is My Land. If you boys and girls enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe with that notification bell hit. More are coming. And don't forget to hit that like button to let me know that this is a series that you guys want. And that you want more of. Because if the support is overwhelmingly there, I'll do my best to upload this daily even. But in the meantime, we might try and upload this every other day. But with that said and with that done, that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of This Land is My Land. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.